think we can take this company significantly down the road. That's what this is about, hitting the next milestones, okay. showing we're making a difference to people, and I think we'll be fine. All right, Dr. Schleifer, thank you so much for coming on thank Jim Cramer's Mad Money. Let me, let me tell people where I think I am on this one. I was actually one of the initial investors in this thing when Merrill Lynch brought it public in, the, in you know, geez, we have an old chart, I think, 15 years ago. You can see this is, the stock has disappointed in the past, but every time it has troughed or had a substantial decline like this, you kind of had to go with it. I don't think this time is any different. Believe it or not, when Mad Money first came on the air a decade ago, executives were initially reluctant to appear on the show. I've always assumed it was because they didn't want to compete with my stunning good looks, bald is beautiful, not to mention my girlish figure, or perhaps they worried that the lack of gravitas is all the bells and whistles, but not that guy. Our very first CEO interview was with Dr. Len Schleifer. He's the chief executive of Regeneron, REGM, which at the time was a tiny development stage biotech company, $4 and change. I gave a stock my blessing for speculation. It's one, it turned out to be the biggest one maybe we've ever had. Uh, ten, it, this was, it's one of the biggest winners for the last 10 years, too. It, Regeneron has climbed from less than 5 bucks to $427 as of today. That's right. This company is now a biotech titan, $43 billion market cap. Fabulous blockbuster macular degeneration drug, Ilea, that keeps getting approved for new indications. Terrific pipeline, including an exciting cholesterol drug that could ultimately do billions in annual sales if it gets thumbs up from the FDA later this year. And there's others, too. Regeneron's the Maltese Falcon of stocks. It's the stuff that dreams are made of. A except, unlike in the movie, this Falcon's the real deal. I think you can keep flying. So in celebration of this company's meteoric rise, let's take a close look with Dr. Dr. Len Schleifer. He's the bankable co-founder and CEO of Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, a man who's made our long time viewers fortunes and you tell me that all the time Len welcome back to mad money good to see you sir. <laughs> Great to uh, good to see you thank you so much for everything you did for mad money until you came on I think a lot of people are thinking I don't know is it the right place uh, and I just thank you because I think you recognize we were open-minded we've always liked biotech and you did have a vision back then that this could be this this drug was going to be a huge drug yeah I mean we thought uh, that if we just stuck with the science uh, we could get there. Uh, we didn't know how long it would take, and uh, we didn't have a lot of people who believed in us. We appreciate the fact that you actually believed in us when the stock was a single-digit stock. Uh, so, uh, Well, what did you see? I mean, obviously, the head-to-heads were so much better than we realized. Did you know? Because the people you were taking on are the tight... These are... These are Tens of billions of dollars that, that these companies make, and their market capitalizations are gigantic. Right. I mean, you were the David to Goliath here. Yeah, I mean, the thing about this business, Jim, is that it's all based on what you do for patients. It's not, this is not the soap business or the detergent business where the marketing clout matters and all that stuff. The bottom line, if you come out with a product that makes a difference for patients, you're going to sell the product, patients are going to do better, and your investors and shareholders are going to profit as well. Now, you have got a couple of things because you've never rested on your laurels. And this is a remarkable joke. But the, my people, my cardiologists, the cardiologists and, and the people I've asked them to survey and the people who are in the business say that your cholesterol formula, formulation is breakout and that it is very different from what's currently in use and that you are well ahead. Is that the case? Well, uh, we'll find out soon enough right. because the FDA is going to take a good look at this and their scheduled action date is around the end of July. So we'll, we'll know what uh, the, uh, the people who really matter think, the FDA. Uh, we're hopeful. Um, the clinical trials look uh, good to date. We've got some more interesting data that's coming out uh, at the American Cardiology meetings that start uh, the end of the week, I think on Saturday. So you'll see some... So this week we have data points. We do have some more information coming out Do for I have you. to worry about getting scooped by this Meg Terrell? <laughs> With us. <laughs> you might. She's really good at what she does, um, and I'm sure she'll be covering it. But the point, the, the point is, is that I think that once again we focus on a need. Right. There was a need for patients to get um, better lowering, better control of their bad cholesterol, and that's what we hope we can do. Can you do this for arthritis, which would be the holy grail? No one's ever been able to do it for it. You know, I think there's been a lot of progress in arthritis. We've, we've got a drug that we hope to get a submission on sometime maybe towards the end of this year. Do you need year. any phase 
phase one people. <laughs> I'm willing to try phase one. I mean, I'm willing to be in there with the with the uh, the the guys like the mice. Uh, for certain reasons, for certain reasons, I'm not sure you would qualify. So uh. <laughs> now, let's let's talk about the notion of what you've done, the leadership. I mean, I know you have Dr. Bachelos, who was at Merck for a long time, but you've attracted some of the bright, brightest, greatest minds. And you've stuck it out. What was it like? There were some bad, there were some dark, dark hours, Len, where things didn't work out that you initially thought. How did you keep going? Well, I, I was very lucky. Um, first of all, I had Dr. Vagilis along right. the way for the last almost 20 years yeah. uh, helping. But my real success came, uh, the most important thing I ever did for Regeneron is partner up with George Ancopoulos. Uh, George and I opened up the labs together. Uh, he's the creative genius who's discovered all these drugs, who's built this pipeline. And we've been in it together. We've been in it as partners, and, and we have a whole team of people. And I think that's what distinguishes Regeneron. We have people who've been with us for decades. They've actually seen an idea on a whiteboard, a chalkboard at the time, go to a drug that's making a difference for patients. And we always stuck with that. We believed in what we could do. You believed in yourselves. We, we believed in ourselves. We believed in our colleagues. And we knew that patients needed this work to, co to come through. And, and that's what's really motivating. It, we, what we can like you stay to independent, though? I mean, because you know that you've got a very big-pocketed partner. Yeah. You know, I, our vision is to continue to do what we do right. the way we do it. I think it's terrific. You've been just a godsend to our viewers. You've made people a fortune. And you're just a mensch good guy, man. Uh, <laughs> I really love it. It's great Thank to you be so here. much. That's Len Schleimer, the president and CEO of Regeneron. Hey, this one's not done. I think it's got multiple years of outperformance ahead of it. Mad Money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.